This is one of my favourite skulls, the skull of a badger. It feels quite solid and has some fantastic features. Let's start with a look up its nose, not something you can do with a live badger. Can you see all those thin bones, a bit like a sponge up there? These are the turbinate bones and they are nicely preserved in this specimen. This complex set of bones are multitasking. In life, they support tissues that warm the air as you breathe in and capture heat off your breath as you breathe out. So if you live somewhere very cold, you don't get ice cream brain when you inhale and it's easier to retain heat in your body. They also capture moisture from your breath and hold the sensory cells for your sense of smell. Mammals with a good sense of smell have particularly complicated turbinates. What about the eyes? Where do they go? If you saw our turtle video, the eye sockets there are really obvious. The skulls of mammals are a little trickier to interpret. The eye socket of our badger is open at the back, blending into the hole behind the cheekbone where a lot of the jaw closing muscles go. Here's another difference between mammals and our turtle. The jaw closing muscles of the turtle were inside the skull and the brain housed in its own bony box. In mammals, our muscles are on the outside of the skull and the brain is huge, filling all of this space here. There are several muscles involved in closing the jaws in mammals. They are arranged at different angles and attach in different places on the skull. This means that we can move our jaws in different directions, so we can chew rather than just snap. Can you see this ridge of bone running along the top of the badger's skull? This tells me that the muscles that attach here are really big. We have a powerful bite in this animal. Now one of the things I find really amazing about the badger skull is its jaw joint. Let's start by looking at the jaw joint of another mammal. Here's a fox skull and you can see that the jaw joint is formed by a sort of cylindrical lump of bone on the lower jaw that fits into a groove onto the skull. A piece of wire is holding the lower jaw onto this specimen. Now look at the badger. Can you see how the skull wraps nearly all the way around that nubbin of bone on the lower jaw? No wire is needed here to hold the skull together. You can't dislocate the badger's jaw. Let's finish with a look at the teeth. Badgers belong to the order Carnivora, the group of mammals that includes dogs, cats, bears, mongooses, raccoons, weasels, all sorts of different animals. But badgers are omnivores. They eat all sorts of different foods. We have some nice biting incisors at the front, some sharp looking canines, but when we look at the molars, they're not as slicing as the cheek teeth of dogs or cats. They are kind of halfway between those teeth and our grinding molars. So there we have it, the strong, sturdy, solid skull of a badger.